2012 or something. And, you know, following them on Facebook and getting into more into their David's way of seeing the course, David Hopmeister. Um, I've been into non duality for a long time also, you know, the Vita Vedanta and Indian kind of teachings. But when I went to Majorca, Living Miracles in Majorca, I kind of, Emily was very, you know, choose one path, <laughs> let the, all the other stuff go, you know. And I could see her point, you know, because it kind of can be a distraction, so. <clears throat> Since since then, I've really focused on, on just David and the course, and you know, just my mind was clearer. You know, there was no kind of oh, I'm kind of into, into this as well, like into that. So I think yeah, that really helped me <coughs> on my journey. And, and yeah, like very happy being here. And <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> so much, <laughs> so grateful. I love the group here, Mel, and the people that's coming. You know, I really love this mm -hmm. this life. You know, it's, it's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's a blessing. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Matthew came to the retreat last mm. was it November? October. Last October. October. Yeah. 2021. Mm. Yes. And he never left. <laughs> 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 he was planning to leave, but mm. he came right after we ended the retreat. And he just came to our room and was like, you know, I have this feeling I have to stay with you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's wrong to go. <laughs> yeah. Just couldn't leave. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it felt like a big <coughs> decision, mm -hmm. you know, in a way, just, just a shift. Yeah. I remember I'd, <coughs> after I'd, instead of flying back to Ireland, I flew to Havia the next day or the day after or something. And I remember the feeling I had, it was like, Jeez, I feel like I'm running away with the circus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this unplanned, just <laughs> the circus comes along and you're attracted to it, oh, and you're just gone. You know? <laughs> <laughs> circus of awakening. <laughs> the awakening to love circus. <laughs> we have moved quite a few times, so. <laughs> had some core experiences too, the, like the three of us, and, which is, yeah, all inclusive, but it's been very kind of deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe how deep it's gone since coming here. Mm. I thought it was deep going to New York for the year, which it was. Yeah. I was blown away of how deep, you know, <coughs> it is. Really blown away, but, <coughs> but yeah, it's a, the depth since I've come here, you know, what what I've kind of ex what's come up to the light, you know, from the unconscious. It's been like massive healing, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but it's so perfectly orchestrated. It's mm. Really, is every step. Kind of image as you said that of reaching for the stars, like reaching so high. Yeah. You're like, well, just about touching them.
Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, my name's Anne. I also have a perceptual problem. <laughs> but I'm getting a lot of help here with it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I met Jenny at my first ever retreat. Mm -hmm. Seven years ago, something like that. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I just feel like I've kind of come full circle. Um, yeah. I've got more of both, yeah. actually, Monica and, and Anne Marie from different, different times, really, and different places. And, yeah. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I sort of came and did some retreats here and stayed a little while. And went backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, <laughs> a few times, and and then I heard, you know, the guidance to stay, and I said it out loud so that I wouldn't actually forget it or be allowed to forget it, because um, yeah. And, uh, and then, then the fear came up for, <laughs> for a little then, while. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't quite, couldn't quite make the move straight away. Um, but it got so painful, actually, trying to live in the world uh, when, you know, like everything inside of me wanted to be, wanted to be here for the awakening journey. Um, yeah. So I think about four or five months ago, something like that. But yeah, I finally took that that step. You were six? Is it six months? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Beginning of September. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that feels like a long time or a short time or, or what, really. It's just been like every day, it seems, just something else, something else, something else. And, um, I can just feel this whoosh, you know, like of, of gratitude. Yeah, it's just been, I would say, the best six months of my life, even though it's been hard at times. It's like, I know, I know where I'm going now. I'm not spinning around in circles so much. So beautiful because you always get through. It can be intense with what comes up, but you always get through. And then the sincerity is so solid. You have come to this point of yeah, yeah. It's like that, that determination. Yeah. It just increases. Mm -hmm. um, it's not there all the time. But I'm, I'm looking for it all the time when it's not there, if that makes sense. It's like, yeah, where's my determination and my, yeah, my total willingness, really, to, to keep moving forward and, and not, not understanding a lot of the time. And I don't mean not understanding in words, but I don't know actually what's healing, what's not healing. Um, I'm just yeah, developing the trust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I see this little girl, this little <laughs> innocent, happy girl. Do you know, it's something I thought um, my seed used to cut out quite a lot when I was a little girl, and I, I seem to like enjoy sitting like that now. <laughs> 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 Yeah, thank you, thank you, everybody. It's just, yeah, like I 
so perfectly orchestrated, and even to the fact that you guys are sat at the end, so we're all going around this way. It's like, yeah, mm -hmm. everything seems to be like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. <laughs> yeah, thank you. My name is Karen. And, um, I started the course in 2017. I went to a Danish course for, for some years. And I've been shopping for solutions my whole life, but this is very deep. And I've been I think I met you three years ago in Denmark, mm -hmm. and then I thought, I was drawn to that. I didn't know why I had resistance, but I knew something. That's what I want. And that's why I'm here. I came last year for a short stay in Havia, and then I came this September, October, uh, August, September, and I went home, and then I knew I want to go back, because <coughs> unwinding the ego, that's what I want. I'm in the middle of it, yeah. And I feel like crying because I couldn't be a better place. So much help here. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel I'm back I'm only two years old these days mm -hmm. and I'm watching what's coming up in my mind all the stubbornness and yeah, mm -hmm. the wall I built and yeah, that's what I'm <coughs> facing now it's really deep really going really deep here yeah. and it's yeah I have no words for it it's just yeah. Yeah. step by step yeah, yeah. Like a, a journey, a travel, or, yeah. mm. it's very intense. Yeah. It's so different from my past life. Mm. And being in the community, you, you can't hide, you can't uh, postpone, you can't say, oh, I'll look at that tomorrow. No, that's not uh, possible. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried that one, Karen? <laughs> I tried it once. <laughs> and watching the healing that's going on here. Wow. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Christian. Uh, I'm coming from, from Germany. And uh, I, I was first in, in touch with the Chorus Americas, seeking for a spiritual way to grow. And um, yes, to make it short, I'm I was in 2015, first time with mm -hmm. David Hofmeister's retreat, and uh, I met Jenny there, and and uh, we had a one-on-one -on -one talk, and I I felt really drawn to the to this openness, to this heartfulness, to this reflecting truth, and I think that's the main part why I'm so glad to be here now is this reflection of of the truth of, of yes trust I see here it's reflected and that helps me so much mm. to to develop also mm. <laughs> the trust that I need yeah, to feel I have an option in life. I can choose, really. And the promises of 
of God, so to say, a true Lord. Not only sentence, it's, it's true. Mm. And sometimes there's a little yeah, slit opening and shows that mm. and that arrow will get much deeper. <coughs> So I enjoy very much to be with you here. And even if I don't feel it's not so easy for me now. I, it's really a, it's a lot of struggle and silence, a lot of uh, inner fighting, uh, I don't know. But I always want to come, to come, to keep standing. Soon as you share, when, whenever you share, or at least for the last two days, I hear this song again. You can relax now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I listen to it. <coughs> so good. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I I think I have a long time. I have not understood that uh, the part I really play in this way that I have to, to play a part and I have to reach out really that is not coming out of the clouds mm -hmm. so to mm -hmm. say mm -hmm. yeah. reading it mm -hmm. understanding it yeah. um, want to get better in this old life no mm -hmm. it wants much much more yeah. that's sometimes scary mm -hmm. This much, much more. Mm. But that intention is yes. laser strong. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's beautiful. one thing, I, I, it's not, but this <coughs> movie yesterday was so great. Oh. I was so touched by this. Uh, it was also for laughing and so, but the deep thing uh, come, live. Mm. Live. <laughs> exactly. Don't, don't be fearful. Come on, live. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, I think that's the most, that's the cry inside. I want to live. Mm -hmm. I think we all want to live. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if Tom Hanks in the movie decided he wanted a better life of the old life, yes, he would have been the assistant manager. With rectal medicine. <laughs> <laughs> if it's in a nice company. <laughs> 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 We watched Joe versus the <coughs> last oh, night. I've seen that too a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta get out of the old system. <laughs> I'm very glad and thankful mm -hmm. to be with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful having you here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's precious. Okay, I'm Barrett. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah I still think I'm a person. <laughs> I still seem to be here. It's a perceptual problem. <laughs> yeah, I just wanna I just wanna wake up. And it's beautiful to want that so much. <clears throat> I mean, reflections of that are beautiful. It's beautiful just as I look around as I experience our group. 
this retreat that's starting tomorrow. But just everything. Because it is, it's that determination that goes deeper and deeper and deeper. And there's no, there's really no bottom. We want, like, we want it to go to the eternal infinite. That's, that's just, yeah. I'm here for that. I'm here with you for that. <laughs> I'm here with you for that. I am Jamie. I'm also very grateful for the journey, for every person, every seeming person, every seem, seeming being that come my way, that come my way. Um, I feel, yeah, I feel really grateful for this path. It has taken me through so many different um, passages, so many different passages. I, I lived back in Sweden. I was this girl who was married very young, divorced, and desperately praying for <coughs> the truth to come in. I sent out signals into the universe and <laughs> received the signal back because the prayer of the heart was really strong and really sincere. So I found this greatest companion in the universe that I could find, which was David at the time. And, and then I was just diving so deeply in, you know, for the truth. And I had amazing experiences and I had the depth of darkness, mm -hmm. like a fear you couldn't imagine that I had to face. And then there was more, like, the truth shall set you free, and I kept at it with the Course, you know, like, diligently, deeply, for, for years. And then I continued. <laughs> but it was very metaphysical at that time. It was, and I needed that. I needed to get so clear on, on the truth. And I think... <coughs> can come in different for, for everyone. But then there was more emotional healing. So I did a lot of emotional healing. And I feel still that is, <coughs> along with the metaphysics, this emotional healing goes so deep. And I feel that's what we are somehow specialized here at Awakened Love, this emotional healing that mm -hmm we want me to really do. Because otherwise we can know, know it by word, you know, the metaphysics of the Course and we can learn it. And, but if there is anything missed in the mind, in the psyche, we will not go very far. And pattern will stay and pattern may even get even stronger because the ego likes to use the Course too. <laughs> Maybe another concept and teacher, you know. So I felt, I feel that, and that's my intention all the time, that I still work on myself in this way, and I keep praying, and okay, let me be truly helpful. And that's what, that's what we do. We just <laughs> keep, you know, allowing the emotions <coughs> and the beliefs, because they, they go together. We can see many beliefs by being in touch with emotions more and more. So I find it amazing to mm -hmm. just be available for spirit. And the way it looks, I feel, is a result of that. And now it looks like this. And I think it is super beautiful. <laughs> you know, and I feel the sincerity of 
all of us here. And I know the depth of, of this. You know, and the more sincere we dare to be, the quicker the healing and the more spirit can reach us. So even for this retreat, I want to invite all of you to join in that intention. But like just an open mind, like anything can happen and we may go deeper than we ever have, you know, in, in the mind. So, okay. I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> yes, I'm Anne Marie in the UK. So when I, I'm very blessed <coughs> to, to meet this film of the universe delivered me an amazing spiritual teacher about 20 years ago. And um, it was the first person that told me I was having an awakening and I had no idea what that meant. But she introduced me to the cause and um, it was a very, very dark night for the soul at that time. But the prayer she, she gave me and I used every single day was show me the truth. And um, I had no concept of what the truth was, but I meant the prayer very, very deeply. Um, so yeah, so over the years, the truth is, is being revealed, and um, I had zero relationship with God. Um, but I, I feel very grateful to have a relationship with God now. Um, and I trained to be an interfaith minister, which was a massive um, shift. And, and I made a vow then. And what is that? A multi-faith, interfaith minister, so it embraces all faiths or no faiths. So it's a two-year training. Okay. Yeah. And the vow I made, you know, was very much about being in service to support other people. Um, but it seemed then that was when I had to go a lot deeper, of course. Um, so I'd say, yeah, I shared with you guys yesterday, the last three years, I think my prayer again went a lot deeper to really understand forgiveness. I, I had an idea of it from the course, but um, I did pray to understand that because I, I said to God, I don't really think I'm doing it <laughs> or understanding it. And then I came, I was aware of David, but he came into my life over COVID, as I'm sure he did to many people. And um, yeah, and then I went to Mallorca and met some mighty companions and that really helped me to start to see the forgiveness process. And some amazing miracles happened after that. And I just have been going deeper and deeper into the course and David's teachings obviously are just profound. So grateful for his teaching. And other teachers as well, very much. And I think my kind of quote dilemma is there's one particular teacher of the course, Kate Reeves, who I love, you know, and she says, you know, you don't need to be in a community to wake up. And I get that. So I've had a bit of a push-pull thing with this. Um, and I still don't know the answer. And that's okay. But going to Mexico for six weeks was, again, very profound. And I think the greatest gift I got from that <clears throat> And I'm, and I'm feeling it here, noticing it here, is my default is to hide when I'm challenged and I want to run away. And of course in Mexico you can't do that there for six weeks and you can't do it here, like you're saying. There's nowhere to hide. Um, so I feel a lot braver and more courageous to be able to move towards whatever it is that, that I want to run away from. Um, and I was saying to Jamie earlier that I a lot of resistance over the, over the night here because of the guidelines and certain things and my ego was having a, a good old groan and a moan <laughs> but I thought well I, I want to be at peace but I don't want to bypass this that was guided to a section in um, David's book um, now was, was this it miracle? This this miracle. Miracle. Mm -hmm. and I got a beautiful part in there that really helped me and touched me again about God and love comes to me all the time and that's what I need to do here. I have to move towards all of you because you are all love. And um, yeah, I guess that's why I'm here. 
And um, and I'm really, yeah, I'm praying, you know, what is it you want me to do, God? Where do you want me to mm. go? Because I really don't know. Mm. I have absolutely no idea. And I'm here now. Yes. And that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I know my ego wants to go, what can you go over there? No. Mm. <laughs> and I feel, as you say this, I feel the Holy Spirit's invitation for you, for this community. <laughs> I am resistant, I, I've got to be honest. Yeah, that's okay. Mm. And you can maybe use your week here for um, that intention to get clear, because you mentioned uh, what another teacher had said. Mm -hmm. What comes to me is this, you know, don't take another's path as your own. No. That guidance in the course that this is mentions that as very important because mm -hmm. that just shows us we just have to follow the guidance. Mm -hmm. What is our calling? You know, even if others are very convinced that community is not it or this is the way, or, you know, but what is it for us? Yeah, and she didn't say it wasn't, she right. didn't put down community at all. She said exactly what you said. It's absolutely an individual curriculum and there's, there is no right or wrong. Yeah. But there are some so, teachers that say you don't need community and there are some yeah. teachers that write it in their books. And, yeah. Um, but you can't teach that because it's not true. It's, yeah, I agree. Some, that's the way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and I've mm -hmm. seen that and I've seen the light, you know, in all you guys and the little miracles and the, it, it's, you can't deny that, you know. Um, but yeah, it, it is, it, it's, I have no idea on that level, I really don't. But I, I do want to be in service to God, that is, I do know. It's beautiful. So, thank you. Thank you. And thanks for expressing all your resistance. That's good. Mm. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. You like it. <laughs> Anything is spoken, you know, instead of holding, held on. Yeah. But I love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Well, thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So, what's next? Mm -hmm. Dessert. Oh, dessert. Oh, dessert. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> dessert is next. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wants. And you can do as you feel if you want to stay. <laughs> Or if you want to go rest, let me see. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.